Hello, hello. Hi, Mina. Okay. I'm a little bit. I guess not so bad. This will work. It is hot in my room. Oh my goodness, it's hot in here. Okay, so welcome. If you, you know, if you come in and watch this later, welcome, say hello. Give me a, um, hey, it's, it's Labor Day weekend. How about giving me a thumbs up emoji? Hey, Kristen, that, you know, you was hanging out with me. So thumbs up emoji. I just came up that off the top of my head. Um, man, it's hot in this room. I didn't have the air conditioner on all day, and it's hot. And I can't find one of my hand fans. I'm going to be hitting the button in a minute. So, hi, Kristen. How are you? So, it is Sunday night. Most of, A lot of us don't have work tomorrow. Oh, man, I forgot something. That's okay. That's okay. I'll do it the other way. We don't have work. So I decided to come on. I scheduled myself and I'm on live now. Hi, V. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's been a little slow out here in these streets. It's been a little bit slow, a little bit. Hey, cousin. So tonight, I wanted to talk about fall florals. Ooh, it's hot in here. Okay, so let's talk about fall florals. Now, there is a difference between florals for spring and summer and the ones that we wear in the fall and the winter. And the fl fall florals are a little more, you know, they're a little heavier, they're spicier, they're deeper, they have a certain sexiness about them that the spring summer florals just don't. Spring summer florals to me are more romantic. They tend to, you know, some are very sexy, don't get me wrong, but some of them are more romantical, they're, you know, more, um, you know, lightweight, more um, very much of the genre that is, um, uh, you know, very true to nature, whereas some fall and winter is about candied roses incensey vibes just strong ass fragrances because it's co cold outside so you know you want to wear something with a little oomph to the to it just a little oomph so we're going to talk about some of those that are in my collection we're going to start out with some you know old ones and then we'll go into some newer ones some that you might not even know i have or i haven't talked about a lot so that's what we're going to do tonight Hey, my Michelle. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna talk about fall florals. Fall florals, and I do not have. I'm not doing notes tonight. We're just gonna talk about my impressions of them. What are the main? You know, we're just gonna do that tonight. So I'm not breaking down notes and everything. Let's just talk about the fragrances. You know, because I'm not. Okay. So let's go with some older ones now. Of course. It starts getting cool outside. It, now, now it's not quite cool enough, but once it hits like the 50s and stuff, and the you know, because guess what, fall is gonna hit, and it's gonna be in the 50s. We're gonna be rolling in these sweaters. We're gonna be putting on jackets and everything, and we're gonna put on some oud bouquet. This is like one of the older ones. This now this is praline, you know, rose oud. This is a very um, uh, this is a catcher, you know, catch people. People will, you will catch people with this. Uh, hi, JC, I'm doing well. And and it's just, you know, it's got the rose in it. It's a rose oud combination with, you know, praline and caramel. So it's a very sweet candied rose. If you like sweet candy roses. Now, of course, if you don't want to pay that shack, that, 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 that drop that coin for oud bouquet, going to get you the shack off oud. By Swiss Arabian, it is a perfect dupe for it, and will give you the same exact thing. So that's Shaga Food. Now, did I miss something? I was trying to make sure I had everything in my hot little hands. Hey, Coco. Hey, Coco. Just did the first one. Say so you are in the mix, Mama Sita. Okay. Next up, we're gonna go down this train of 
rosy of um, you know floral florals for the fall sweet candy sugary sweet ones spicy ones things like that so let's go with Mancera's Roses Vanille which is very similar it's got that sugar note it's it's very sweet this is a candy sweet rose but it does have your rose in it so you will not miss your rose it is very rose centered but it is a very sweet sugary sweet rose so this is roses vanille for the fall uh now of course you know you can always bust out your alien you can always bust out your alien when it starts getting cooler out because alien is too rough too strong too too much for the for spring and summer so this is um you know hey helen this is you know stando alien boom got it you know you take the, just a little alien yeah we got the alien going and boom okay this one out this one should be back over here i'll grab the little one <laughs> okay so I'm going through my old ones, then we're going to get into some new ones. Then we have Nina Ritchie, Black Size Rose Absolute. Now, there are other ones in this line, but I don't have them. But this is the only one I have. I have a means to get the rest. This is the Francis Kirchon one. And this is... This is Sexy Ass Candied Ass. This is Sexy Ass Candied Rose. This is if you want to be smell like a candy little sexy rose. If you want to roll up on somebody and just have them like, what? This is what you need. And it's so affordable. It's under $40. Under $40. You can, this is a great price. Now, and many say that, and I don't have it. They say that that is a dupe for Oud Satin Mood, which it probably does have similarities because they are both his, you know, are his um, creations. So, um, and it has similar DNA. So that's, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Then we're my older ones. Mm. Inara Oud. This is Inara Oud by Swiss Arabian. Now this is a, another rose oud. You can't get away from them. I mean, if for if you rose oud is the combination you will always find these. So this is a rose oud, but the thing is that this has a valerian note to it, so it gives it a little more herbally, and it has teak wood in the base. So it has this nice, really beautiful wood, um, wood with this um, herbal beginning. So that's why I like this one because it, it is a rose oud, but it is a different rose oud. It isn't just, you know, a regular old candied rose oud, you know, vanilla rose oud um, combination, but it has this teak wood in it that gives it this really beautiful woody note that's, that tempers that oud. So this is Inara Oud by Swiss Arabian. Not to be confused with Inara because I don't like that one. I need to get rid of it. All right, next up on the fragrances for this time of year, oldies but goodies, is this one. Saffron Rose, Perry Ellis Saffron Rose Absolute. Now, honestly, if you want to try this one, you probably need to go to Fragrance by CA because I think this is the only place I've seen it recently. But this, I love this one because it is, it is a incensey rose without any vanilla so it's just a spicy rose it doesn't have any ins it doesn't have any vanilla so it's really not if you're looking for sweet there's no sweet in this one but it's just this beautiful spicy incensey rose so that's why this is good for fall this is you know this is this of course is one of my date night ones i'm gonna have to upgrade i'm gonna have to do my uh, uh date night ones again because I got a few more. All right. This is Tuberose Mystique. Hi, Alicia, by Bulgari. Now, this is a sweet. It's like in between being a sweet bubblegummy tuber, tuberose and a 
but creamy one. So it's kind of like right in the middle. Now this is tuberose for someone who's just starting out with tuberose because it's not too strong. It, 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 you know, and now the one thing I will say is that it doesn't last as long as I would like it. Hi Leah, it doesn't last as long as I would necessarily like it but it is a beautiful tuberose it is definitely for somebody who doesn't like like some people like some of us like those deep dark mysterious tuberoses this is for somebody who wants a lighter tuberose still got a deepness to it but just not as um kind of animalic as tuberose can get doesn't have that like bite like like some tuberoses can have so this is tuberose mystique by bogart and besides the fact just the the bottle alone it, the bottle alone makes it worth it. I mean, look at how gorgeous that blue is. Look at that blue and gold. If that's not a gorgeous bottle, I don't know what it is. Okay. So, um, it, it, let me know about y'all florals for fall too. This is Serge Luton's Flores de Orangere. This is a beautiful, perfect orange blossom, honeyed up fragrance. So if you're look, if you like orange blossom, if you like some, if you like orange blossom, if you really want a really good orange blossom, this is the one to try. Because this is this is very orange blossom. Like, you know, you'll see things like um, Eli Saab uses a lot of orange blossom. And you'll smell the orange blossom, but there's so many other notes that kind of like layer on top of it that it's it's like okay, yeah, it's got that orange blossom, but it isn't so forward. This is orange blossom. This is mm, orange blossom and honey, but the honey is not overtaking the orange blossom, so it's just a sweet honey orange blossom. It's it's really orange blossom, and I really love it for that. And it's a power. Mm. It it stay on you. It's got, it's got some, it's, it's got some, yeah, I'm, I'm on you for today, for today. So it stays on. Serge Luton. Serge Luton. Ely Saab. Now, of course, we know there's a lot of tuberose. <laughs> we know there's a lot of tuberose here. We know there's a lot of tuberose. Don't kill me. Oh. This is Ely Saab, Essence Summer 9 Tuberose. <laughs> this is another Francis Kirk John one. I like finding his that aren't part of his collection, about part of his house, because you know, his house is so expensive. You know, it's good to find his pieces that he's done for other houses that are more affordable. So he did this whole line. He's done a lot for Ely Saab though. And this is a spicy, it's got a little cinnamon in it, it's tuberose, so it's got a little spiciness to it. And it's not that many notes, but it's just perfect. I will say one thing about Mr. Kirk John. He does make some stuff. He does make some stuff. He does make some stuff. So this is like one of those, it's, it's got a creaminess to it, but it's got that cinnamon so that it gives you a little kick to it. Gives you a little kick. So this is really beautiful. All right. I know y'all thought it wasn't gonna be no man Sarah's, right? Yeah. Oh no, we have one. We have another one. Musky Garden. This is this is one of the ones that's just just a beautiful floral, but it has enough weight to it that it can be worn all the time. So this has enough weight behind it. You know, you need your you need your florals to have a little weight behind them so that they work in this time of year. And this has enough weight behind it that even though it's very floral, it's not a lot of it's not candy, it's not it's a musky floral, but it's got enough power behind it. So it isn't just a musky light light musky you know floral. This is very um <laughs> I know musky garden. So you know, it's so musky garden is just perfect one for the winter, summer, uh, whatever you know, fall. Now it's not complete if we don't pull out the python. Talking about florals, we have to pull out python. 
and of course my other my other love we know I don't even have to say anything we know wild motherfucking python stands alone she stands alone she stands alone and of course honor of course right honor I haven't been wearing you baby I'm gonna have to break you out because mm, y'all know this is classic white floral if you need a white floral in your life and you want to splurge on one splurge on honor now python just get python too but if it's a splurge you know because honor she got some weight behind her on the coinage is she worth it she's worth every damn dime mm. stays on you beautiful just gorgeous Yes. Let's just go on through these. Love Tuberose. Love Tuberose has that whipped cream, of course, so it's got that sweetness to it that even though you can wear it in the summertime and everything, I think it's really gonna blow it's gonna really blossom with the sweet accords with the whipped cream and everything in the fall. Because it's gonna be a little bit cooler, but it's still that tuberose. But it's got that, it's got that sweet whipped cream. It's got that, you know, but it's still got a little leather in it. So, uh, love to girls. And of course, Delina Exclusive. It, I saw somebody saying, I think Amina said it. If you have one, you don't need both. And I got them both. She's like, if you have one Delina, you don't need them both. I think you I think I do. I think I do, and I do. So anyway, this is the dark, deeper, darker sister of Delina. It's got the oud. It's got the incense. It still has the rose. It has Vitalia. So it's a, it's the deeper, darker sister. It's the one that's got, you know, who's got bad intentions. This is the sister with the bad intentions. This is, you know, Serena on Bewitch. You know, you got Samantha who wears Delina, and then you have Serena who wears Delina Exclusive, who is, you know, the bad witch who gets into all kinds of trouble, but we still love her. We still love her for her, you know, getting in trouble ass. We love her. And fall, because Roses Barbaranza is definitely wintertime. It's got to be super cold when you wear that one. Rosa Barbaranza needs some cold air. But if you want to have that kind of vibe, you get you some Parfait de Roses. All the hides, a little liquor up in here, a little rose, a little vanilla. So you got a little booziness, a little powderiness. Mm, Parfait de Roses. She's here to, she's here to, she's here to talk to you like, what, what, what? what? Yes, I'm talking. I got something to say. I got something to say. Ooh, I almost dropped that. I almost dropped that. And I would have cried if I had broke that. Hi, Rita. All right. Next up is Oud. Alien Oud Majestu or what Majestue, however you say it. Anyway, this is a jasmine oud, which is different to find. So that's why I like this for the fall and winter because it is a deep, it's an alien, but it has that oud in it and it's you know got the alien DNA, but it's added oud in it, which makes it a little different than usually, which is rose oud. So this is alien oud majestu. I think that's how you say it. Next up is Van Cleef and Arpels Rose Rouge. Now, if you don't want to spend the money for Parfait de Roses, get this one. This is a good alternative to Parfait de Roses. It, it, it has a dryness to it because it has cacao in it. So it's got a little chocolatiness in it. And it's a very, you know, very dry like these in the uh, collection extraordinaire have a little dryness to them so they're not these like juicy fragrances they're kind of dry 
but they are glorious. They are just, you know, this is a really well put together, really well put together, really, um, you know, complex, but no, I don't want to mean com well blended fragrance. It is very well blended. It's very, it's got an extravagance to it. So if, like I said, if you don't, if you are looking for an alternative to Parfait de Roses, because of the cost, I mean, the damn thing, the Parfait de Roses is about $200. I get it. This one. Rose Rouge. Aaron's Evening Rose. Aaron Beauty's Evening Rose. Uh, people are sleeping on this one. This is a very this is a gorgeous just uh, this is a sensual seductive this is a sensual seductive incense rose with a little booze in it because if it's a, I'm gonna say it has brandy in it so it's like a boozy incense rose very elegant very well bred this is for the you know because Aaron Beauty when I think of Aaron Beauty I think of very Hamptons I think of you know um, you know very posh white girls. I'm just gonna put it out there. Very posh white girls. So this is them when they are going out and pushing the envelope and not just being their usual. Cause like the the Hamptons girls, you know, they put on some Delina, not Delina exclusive. They put on Delina and they, oh, I'm gonna be, I'm out here being pretty girl, pretty girl. But then, then there's the one. It's always one in the crowd. It's always that one in the crowd who's a little bit darker who is hanging out, but she really, you know, she would rather be out there kicking it on the dark side. You know, she's she's a Hamptons girl, but she's got this dark side, and, you know, she'd be looking at them like, if you only knew what I was into. She wears evening robes. She, because this, you know, they're like, what you have? Oh, I have on Air and Beauty. So, you know, she's still kind of like towing the line of being within the, the, the Hampton girl realm, but she's going to take it to a different level. She's going to be, she's on the darker side, but still rocking what, you know, is semi-acceptable. Because she don't want her mom and them to be mad at her. She got to keep her trust fund together. She got to keep daddy happy. So, I have an air of beauty. And, but it's, it's evening rose. It's all dark and deep and slightly, you know, it's mysterious. But, you know, it just, it, it just has enough of the Hamptons in it so that it won't it won't have them looking at her like what is she up to that was a lot of talk wasn't it that was a lot of talk all right next up Tom Ford's Jasmine Rouge now the first off look at that bottle that bottle just screams fall and winter this just says fall and winter this is now I am not a huge fan of Tom Ford just not um, but this Oh, this is beautiful. This is a, you, you get the jasmine, but then he's got all the spices in it. He's got cinnamon. He's got um, saffron. He's got, I think he got ginger. It's a really spicy jasmine. It's, it's, but you got the jasmine. You definitely smell the jasmine. It does last on you. It projects out. People will sit, smell this on you. Um, and it, and it, you will be, you know, you'll just be that very, sensual chick you're very sensual when you're wearing that you know this is a very sensual but elegant it has an elegance to it but it's still very seductive it's still very sensual but it is a very elegant fragrance because it does have layers to it it's like that classy seductress it's the classy one you know not the one who you know pops her gum and you know she's you know she wears you know she goes over you know she's she's a little low budget. This is the classy seductress. When you you know th there's levels to being a seductress, and there's the ones who just really starting out. They're a little low budget, you know. They they're a little more crass. Well, this is the elegant, well bred seductress uh, fragrance. Dancing Roses. Now, this has become the little star of YouTube and on IG. Everybody got Dancing Roses. I ain't even gonna lie. I love this thing. It is boozy, 
cherried roses which is something that i really don't have a lot of so this is very this is a very boozy cherry rose it is not for everybody because i've heard some people are disappointed in the scent and i think at this point it will become disappointing because so many people are talking about it you know sometimes there's this thing like it when it first comes out it's like yes 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 but then once you once you it's hyped and hyped sometimes it just doesn't live up to the hype because you have your you know you're like oh my god oh my god and then you get in your life, but it ain't everything I thought it was. So I say this to say, go into it with an open mind. You know, go into it with an open mind. But I love this damn thing. It is, it's a boozy cherry. It does have this kind of interest. It has like this kind of, um, the cherries give it kind of almost a plasticky vibe at one point. But then you just ride it through and it just stays glorious. And this damn thing stays on you all day on your clothes forever. I put on something. You know how you have stuff sitting around and then you throw it back on a few days later. Just because it's sitting around. You're like, oh, let me throw on something to run to run out the door for a second. I put some on. I was like, what am I smelling? What is this on? It was Dance of Roses. This stuff, was, this stuff is nuclear. It will stay on. So make a decision when you wear it because it's going to be on there for a while. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It has like like cherry cough drops, but I still love it. I still love it. I still love it. It's something about them, and I've gotten lots of compliments on it. When I'm wearing it, I have gotten lots of compliments. This is a very well complimented fragrance. So people love the scent. It's very well liked. Now, what I will say is this is very stylish because it's very hyped up, you know, so it's got a style of its own. It's a very stylish fragrance because it has a style of its own. This, I've never had like a cherry boozy, a cherry brandy liqueur boozy as rose before. So it's a very stylish one and it's kind of, you know, fascinating because of it, but it's not necessarily for everybody. So um, just be aware that it is hyped up. A lot of us love it, but just don't, you know, sometimes that hype will make you go, but it wasn't everything I thought it was going to be. It's true. All right. These last ones are newer. So let's just talk about tuberose versus genuine right see right it doesn't smell like cough drops on me but it's kind of got this sort of kind of something to it that i can't put my finger on but i still love it so this tuberose is so this is molinar by the way this is a molinar i found this i think on fragrance x i think that's where i found it this is i have not heard anybody talking about this and this if you are a tuberose lover if you are a white floral lover, this is so nice. This is just like I was, I was, I was pleasantly surprised. Like I read the the reviews, a few reviews on it, and they were saying that you know it's a very um, true tuberose. It is. It's on the lines of like wild python, but a little different. So this is very swanky. This and and what happens is is like when I was wearing it. It kind of changed a little bit and it had this just I can't even explain it but it was like yes the tuberose was there but it just had this really bright yet um, it's like an effervescence to it that I really enjoy uh, I didn't think when I first tried it that I was gonna like it as much as I do but after putting it on my skin it was like oh man it was slightly provocative I was like are you trying to talk to me? Are you trying to make me feel good about myself? What's going on with you? But it is just really prettier than I thought it was going to be. It is a very elegant tuberose. It is not, you know, it's creamy. This is actually not so much creamy, but more of a floral tuberose. So it does definitely have that almost natural green, you know, fragrance, you know, tuberose vibe to it. But it still is... Better. It's still not just that. Ugh, really like it. 
really, really like it. All right, this one, Histoires de Parfums. This is the Virginal, Two Rose Number Two Virginal. Now, I know it has tiari, it has frangipani in it, but it has a tuberose. It has a little cherry in it. Um, this is, I, these two, I've never, I don't have any tuberoses like this. Um, it's a really glorious, really um, bright uh, tuberose because when I was wearing it, it was just, a, it was just like exhilarating having it on. It, and when the, like I said, when I sat outside, because I had been wearing it all day, it was still on me. And then when I sat outside and it was like though it was like a breeze, it was a breeze because you and speaking of breeze, Chicago is breezing today. It was a very breezy day and I was sitting on the back porch. It was evening and it was just like this scent was just swirling around me. And I was like, damn, this shit is beautiful. So this is very tasteful. It's a very, very um alluring scent. But it is a little difference. It has enough difference because I don't want to just have the same thing over and over again. I, I like I look for differences, you know. So all the two roses have to have a slight difference. You know, they gotta be a little different. They can't just be smelling like each other, just like each other. Then two rose three on a mall. This has two rose the rolly kumquat. It has um, plum on it. This is one of those deep, dark, sweet, got that plum in it, sexy oohs. I mean, sexy tuberoses. This, th these have tuberoses. All of them have tuberoses on every level. Um, yeah, all of them have tuberoses on every level. This one has, um, you know, it's just, like it says, animal. That's what it is. This is very animalic. It, it's, but it's not. It's not animalic to the point that you like, uh, you know, like, like that civet and all those kind of things, castoriums and things. It's not like that, but it does have this kind of animal vibe. Okay, you know what it reminds me of? All you old people, all us older people. It reminds me of the movie Cat People with what was her name? What is her name that was in that movie? Isabella Rosalini. It remind, it's, this is what I could see her wearing in Cat People. It has a very sensual, very cat-like, very pantherish kind of vibe to it. I could definitely, you know, somebody who moves very, you know, cat-like and is very slink, slink, slinky, you know what I mean? Like they have this like slinkiness about them. That's kind of what this one is. You know, num number three is like, in your face it's going to punch you it's going to punch you and if you're not ready for this do not get this because it is like boom it's when a boom get out the move get out the way because when you're walking through people be like whoa so yeah it has this very slinky vibe definitely definitely like sensual definitely you know very sexual it, and it's not even just sensual it's sexual it hits it hits you in the chakra i'm telling you the sacral chakra starts spinning you put this on this right here hi cosmic girl i'm gonna be doing vanilla soon and i have some nice uh, adult vanillas that one and now this one right here is Tiziana Terenzi's Purpura. This is my invoice <laughs> fragrance. I, 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 I deviated from my amouages and I bought this one. This is another spicy, sexy rose. It has a little raspberry in it, so it has a little sweetness in it, but this is like she provocative y'all i mean i was wearing i had one spray on i was like i want to talk to myself i wanted to get cl up close and personal with myself wearing this i'm just saying i just need to get up close and personal with myself wearing this because this is one of those roses this ain't for everybody though because it's not sweet but it is damn spicy it's got this like it's got a little you know pear in it I mean raspberry, so it's got a hint of sweetness, but a little sweetness. But what it's really got is this just sexy, 
Hi, Emmy. Hi. Yep, this is because it's the last one. I just got it yesterday, and I've been like, whoa, I've just been playing with it. But it is a very, it's another one that is very passionate. You know, this is a very passionate uh, fragrance. This is for, you know, that, okay. So this is for the lady who is, um, who lives very full in her life. You know what I'm saying? She does not, she does not, um, yeah, this is, this is dark. This is deep. This is for the lady who lives her life on her terms. This isn't for, you know, she don't care what people think. Fuck you. I am who I am. Hence why I love it. Um, you know, and she's, she's not concerned about people li li liking or her or, or not. Cause she's going to be who she is. And she's going to wear exactly what she wants from, from her clothes and everything. Um, uh, and everything. So it's, it's like, boom, here we go. This is, this is her. So she's got her shit together and she's just doing, and she's living her life. She's not asking, she doesn't, she's not asking permission to be who she wants to be. She's not asking you for anything. But to, and, and if you don't like how she lives, she does not care because that's who, because she is so comfortable in herself that she doesn't need your your permission or acceptance of who she is. So if she want to walk around being the passionate, beautiful, seductive person at all times, then she she does that and she wears her purpura when she's doing. It. Oh, I did forget a couple. I did forget a couple. <laughs> I'm just saying. This is Black Vanilla by Mansara. Even though it is called Black Vanilla, it is more of a floral to me. So the notes, it has a, it has you know rose, I think jasmine and things. So even though it's uh oh yes yes you bring out the heavy hitters, you bring out the atomic bombs, boom. So even though this is called Black Vanilla. It's actually, it has vanilla. It's got vanilla in it, but I get a lot on my skin. I get a lot of um, florals. Now, just out, the, out of here, I do smell the vanilla, but when I put it on, I get more of the florals, and then it dries down, and I get, and I get the vanilla. So this is like a really pretty, if you want a, the, the florally vanilla vibe, this is one for that. And then finally, <laughs> Jardine Exclusive. Jardine Exclusive. Jardine Exclusive is still, it's, it's, it's Jardine is, is a kind of a good girl fragrance. You know, this is a good girl. I like, I like to wear this during the day. It's just like, what am I going to put on? I throw this on. It has a really beautiful um, floral, but it does have a little citrusy vibe to it. So it's still bridging that gap into fall. And but the but the florals are not so garden fresh. They still have a little. They they're on their way to musky garden status. <laughs> they're on their way to musky garden status. They're like you know a few steps behind musky garden, but mm, mm, mm. it's very captivating. Um, yes, it's very much. Yes, it's a lot like vanilla exclusive. But that one is a little has a, the more peachy vibes and stuff. This one still has a little more of the um, florals on me. On me now, I, I mean it, it. It is vanilla, but it has a lot of florals on me. This is a very flirtatious uh, floral. So it's a very flirtatious vibe. This is definitely like if we ever go on dates again. This is definitely you know lunch. This is lunch dates. This is brunch dates. This is brunch hanging out with the girls. This is a lunch date. This is, you know, just being out there kicking it. But um, but still want to not, like, you're not coming out there. You're not coming out there to catch. You're just coming out there to have fun. This is a fun fragrance. As opposed to, you know, you out there, you know, on some bullshit. On some bullshit. Cause there's a, there's them on them on that bullshit fragrances, and then there's the ones that are just nice, light, and fun, and airy, and cool, and everything. Jardine Exclusive is one of those. 
<laughs> All right, so I think I've hit everything that I would say is definitely floral for the fall. What am I kidding you? What am I kidding you? I'm wearing this baby all year. Hi, Shella. I'm still wearing this one. Wild motherfucking python and roses motherfucking greedy. This is an all year fragrance for me, though. I ain't gonna lie. I will wear roses greedy all year. Bonk. Maybe I'll wear her tonight because she makes me happy. I mean, I, I almost forgot. I almost didn't say Rose is Greedy. And I, am I kidding myself? I will be wearing it this fall. But Rose is Greedy is just, you know, it is still that, that fresh rose. But it has the sweetness to it that, that will help that bridge that gap into fall. However, this is all year for me. I will wear Rose is Greedy when I'm a So don't even be like, what? You wear rose green, you damn right I am. Okay. So that is it on those. But it is Sunday night and we don't have work. So I should stop it now and do the right thing. <sighs> but who am I but Louise? And do I do that? Absolutely not. So let's just chat for a little bit. <laughs> let's just chat for a little bit. However, I do have two. I have my royalty scents. Oh, let's talk about these royalty scents I got. I got two royalty scents that I like. A couple I've been, royalty scents of me have not been having the best luck lately, but these two I like. So yeah, you know I try. I try. I'm trying to be better. I'm, I'm trying to be more of a YouTuber. Um, no, I'm really not. Quit lying. Quit lying. Anyway, so this is La Ligue Noir Premier Terra Aromatiques. First off, why do I need to have one, two, why do I need to have five name, words in this name? Why do I need five? Couldn't it just been Lalique Noir? Couldn't it just been Terran Aromatiques? I don't know. I know this is a a, um, a collection, a Noir premiere. Okay, but anyway, let's talk about it. This one is, is a good one. This is one of those unisexy, um, you know, you know, it's, it's that spicy kind of vibe to it. I ain't got no paper over here. I think this is the one I sprayed it with. Yeah, it's got, it's kind of unisexy. It's leaning slightly masculine but not too much that I can't wear it. But it's just like, ooh, it smells so good. It's on the lines of things like Santal Royale. It doesn't have the oud in it. But it's just that very um, unisex yet beautiful scent yeah this is like one that you can wear it's definitely fall it's definitely got that aromatics to it i don't even know the notes in this but it's definitely got um vanilla in it it's got a little bergamot i think uh but it's just a really nice aromatic balsamic kind of vibe that was that's really good for this time of year now i will say royalty says trying to do their thing because they've gotten it, well, my hands were greasy earlier. But this is actually, it shouldn't be this, um, it shouldn't be shiny because it was matte when I got it. But it was a matte black, which I thought was gorgeous. Because they're trying to do some different stuff. And look at this one. This is a black one. This all black. Look at that texture on there. It's like a textured black. I'm like, okay, what this is. Now, this is Fraka. Fraka? by Robert P. Gay. Now this is, and this is what I'm going to say, this is a timeless scent. Timeless. I'm going to need it. This is tuberose. This is like that classic tuberose. And this is timeless. Some things are not, I don't want to call them mature or old or anything. They're just timeless. They they, they stand the test of time. You can wear them from, from the time you're like 30, 25, 30 to the time you're 65, 75. You can wear this fragrance and it will always, it won't, it will transcend time. And I think some fragrances, you need to have some timeless fragrances. You know, because you're like, ah, it's not the night. This does not. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't have that 90s smell. It just has a very timeless floral. That's what it is. It's beautiful. I need a whole bottle of it, but not right now. Not right now. So let's talk about that part, that piece, because I have this, that's in my head. Let's talk about hauling 
and why I'm good, trying to be better. I think sometimes when you, especially when you're doing things like this and you're really liking for something, you kind of get caught up. You start watching hauls and you see all these people's fragrance collections and you're like, ooh, but I gotta have that. They got it, I should have it. And so, and I have that, I have that mentality. I don't know about y'all, but I can have that mentality sometimes. So I am pulling myself back and saying, okay, you don't need to get this right now. Because the beautiful thing about fragrances is that they're around. You don't have to get them. They're, they're usually going to be here for a year or two. It's not like, you know, makeup where she goes away really quickly. So I'm, I'm programming myself to get out of the habit of being, okay, I got to have it right now, right now. Um, some things I will get right now, right now. But I don't. I just don't want to be that person who's just hauling, just hauling, just, just hauling. Um, yeah, see, that's my thing. Tuberoses get me to hell. And I'll be like, it's a tuberose. Did I read tuberose in it? Tuberose, I'm going to tell you another one that gets me. It's Osmanthus. Osmanthus now has been getting me too. So I have to watch myself. So it's like, I'm just saying this because I am not the advocate for like being, you know, running your, your coins or your pocket. But I'm just saying that I'm trying to like slow down because it, it was becoming like, oh, I need to get this. I need to get this. And I don't need to get it right now. I can get it later. I can calm down. Because I am one of those people who I like to get things that everybody, um, yeah, yeah. Most of the stuff, yeah, I, I, I my, my cards change all the time. They all, they really do. And then finally, sometimes I'll pull the trigger on something. But I also don't want to be just this person who's always hauling something because um i don't want to just be uh you know get into the habit of just being oh i got a big old haul i just don't want to do that i want to actually like play with the fragrances talk about them more oh yeah i know talk against you too um you know talk about them more and actually like talk about where they you know how how i wear them what what kind of groupings they're in you know like you know good vanillas um date night sexy things like that so i want to so i'm trying so i mean because like real talk by the end of this year i probably will have and that's even after decluttering some um right well that's always my thing is i'm always trying to find things that i just really like um and 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 get off the roller coaster of getting things oh and that's why a lot of things that are really hyped i just i really don't rush to get or get often because i just I, yes and so i'm just being honest i'll probably have around 200 um and i'm even and that's probably yes exactly so i'm going to be more focused on you know, using them more and talking about them more as opposed to just adding more in. Because I don't want to get into that habit of just adding more things in. Like with makeup, um, see, I'm not into the cupcakes. And I have this feeling that the cupcakes are over. Um, Yes, I could do that, Dion, because there's actually quite a few that are just sitting back there going, whoa, yeah, I did love them. Um, that's a good idea. Thank you. Uh, and I have something that I'm going to be working on. But it's like, I don't want to just be that person just buying more stuff. Um, you know, just buying more stuff, just be buying more stuff. I want to make sure that I'm, I'm using it, it may, you know, and I'm actually discussing them or just wearing them more. Um, Cause what, in, like anything you get caught. Cause like for instance, what have I been wearing? I've been wearing this one. I've been wearing this one, his wires to parfums. I've been wearing this one, this one a lot the last few days because they're brand new and I, they're like, yes, they're, yes. But yeah, I just don't want to just be doing a lot of hauls. So that's why I'm limiting myself. And I think by limiting myself to more, no more than five, or close to damn near five, then that will rein in my expenditures and make me be a little more thoughtful about my purchases. And so that's what I'm trying to be. 
girl and that too the all these damn boxes girl please um and so i'm trying to be a little more um thoughtful with my purchases and i'm also um getting rid of some things because it's like you're not wearing that you're not gonna wear it so let's get rid of it so um because it yeah because there's a couple things i saw back there i was like damn i forgot all about you um yes and that's the other thing b is like i have to watch myself on flankers because it'll be like i should just get them all so i can do, compare them and see which ones are the good ones and everything when do i actually need all those absolutely not speaking of one more i forgot this one i <laughs> made me think of something <clears throat> so this one this is the amethyst exquisite because this is the berries but it has that orchid note in it so it's a little more floral so it's, it's it has a it's a very sophisticated floral very um very classy just a very because uh, it's still got that kind of amethyst vibe with the berries it loses the pepper so it's not peppery and it's just got and it's got the floral so this is a really pretty one yeah, and this bottles, I mean, Lovely bottles are always beautiful. Cause like, that's why I gotta get rid of that damn Leak Soleil. Cause I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep that one. I don't need that one. I don't need that at all. So yeah, I'm trying to make more quality. Um, right, exactly. I'm going with more quality if I buy something. As opposed to, oh, I need, oh, I just want it because everybody, you know, it's, I just want to have more. I just want to have more. So that is what I'm working on within myself. Because, man, I was, for a minute there, my, I, I could have, I was, it was like luxury car rental, luxury car uh, note that I was doing in fragrances in a month. It's like, what the hell just happened? This is a luxury car. Plus the gas, plus the insurance. See, okay, one a month. There you go. Yeah, yeah. And I do get caught up in bottles too. It'd be like, ooh, that's a beautiful bottle. Oh my God, that's a beautiful bottle. Um, and then, and then you're like, okay. Now I will say, like, Propora. I have been wanting this for a while, so I have been looking at this. This has been on my list for quite some time. This has been on my list since probably the beginning of the year and I just never got around to getting it. So that's why I was like, okay, I'm gonna get that one now. And so with my invoices, it's you know, that's like, okay, let's just get something good. But just making sure that I'm making, I'm more thoughtful with my purchases and buying things that it's like, okay, I really wanna try that. That Okay, yes, yes, I would, I would, this could be a good addition to what I have and Right, and I got furniture I need to buy. I got stuff I need. To, I'm, 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 I'm nesting. I, you know, I'm really trying to nest. Cause I've been looking at Helen H's. Have y'all don't? If y'all need to follow Helen on um, IG, her bedroom is gorgeous. That silver be killing me every time. I'm like, okay, you need to step up your bedroom, child. You need to step it up. You need to step it up. I'll be looking at that like. But yeah, I want to, you know, nest a little more because it's like we're really not going out too much. You know, we kind of staying in the house. So I need to nest it up a little more, you know, make it, you know, a more comfy, cozy because it's about to get cold again. And so I just, I, I bought my bedding, but I really need to do some more pillows, you know, things like that. And so I need to, um, to just, you know, make sure that I'm, I'm balancing, put some balance to this. Because there, sometimes you can get caught and there's no balance. And so that's that's where I'm going. I'm just like, okay, put some balance to this. Put a little balance and that's where I'm at. Does that make sense? So I'll never be that person and be like, I'm on a no-buy. I'm on a no-buy. But I am, uh, no. And, then, and sometimes it's going to be more than five in a month because I'm a stumble. But at least if I, if I say, okay, five is my goal, then I can be closer to that goal then. And so that's where I'm looking at. It's like, okay, five is my goal. Five is my goal. Let's, we can do this fiber. We can do this fiber. Okay, okay. And, and 
I really got to slow down because Christmas is coming. I got a grandson. I got a G-son. I got to get him some things for Christmas. Even though I'm not getting him a lot because he's not even one years old. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's what we need to do. Now, of course, there will be months when it might be 10 fragrances in that month. But on the other hand, yeah, and that, right. Yes, cutting off one indulgence and moving to another one. And so that's um, where I'm watching. And, and that's the other thing I have to watch myself because I will, I will, I will. I will get like that and be like, oh, well, I can just do this. Now, I'm not going to say, do I really need that buy? I can't, I, I, can, I can't say that one. I, I would never try that one. Because I know how I, my mind works. But yes, you need it. Yeah, you need it. Because you need it right now. So that's why I never say no buy to myself. Because my brain clicks into no buy. If I said I'm going on a no buy, I promise y'all, I will have 15 fragrances. And some, and some makeup. And all kind of shit. Because my brain goes into starvation mode. If I say no to my brain, it goes in straight starvation mode. It goes, oh, okay, is this what we're doing? Well, I need to fatten up on that right now. <laughs> I need to fatten up. How about that? And it'd be like, damn, so this is what happens. So I never tell myself no buys because it, it'll just go all the fuck wrong. All the fuck wrong. But what I will do is be a little like, okay, do you... Baby, honey, it'll just be a mess if I say, because I did try to do that one year. I tried to do a no by July, and everybody be like, no by July, no by July. That was one of my biggest haul months before. That was like my biggest haul month ever at that point. When I tried to do a no by July, I bought so much that month, it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous, but it was a it was a hard month because that was the month of Ace Butte came out with their Paradise collection. The first Norvina came out. It was some other stuff came out that month, and it was just like I had to have them all, so I got them all. You know, it was like oh I need that, I gotta get that. Oh my God, I have to have it, and it was just like everything. It was everything which reminds me i need to order me my damn paracol before i forget and get to be midnight so i'm gonna have to get off of here a little early so i can get my paracol because i can never have enough paracol eye cream especially when it's 55 50 percent off and it ain't 110 dollars you know what i'm saying okay anyway but yeah so that's why i never and i learned a valuable lesson that month i was like never again will i say no bye to myself because that was just like terrible it was just a mess Right? It would be like, your, wait a minute, your credit card comes, you'd be calling you, did you lose them? Do you need new, Do you need replacements? Do you need replacement cards? Because I know something wrong, because you, you, you ain't spent no money. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> That's how you be like, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> so I totally understand. Oh, this Jasmine Rouge is so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. And now I will say this. I do know this about me because I said, oh, I'm going to buy some more sample sets. And that's not my style either. Buying a sample set annoys me. I really tried to sample, but it just never happens for me. It'll just be like, but you know what? Why not just buy the bottle? Because you got to wait for the sample set. The holiday releases are so bad, though, this year. The holiday makeup releases are terrible. I mean, Too Faced has come out with their usual things. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you know what? And you know what FragranceNet does? FragranceNet sends you that same damn, um, that same damn sample every time. What is it? Exceptional? Isn't that the same one they put in there every time? I'd be like, are you kidding me? What? What? No, no, stop it. But I feel like this. If you're spending a certain amount with fragrance that they should just throw in some real ones. Yeah, that, yeah. I'm like, what is this? They should be, I mean, like if I'm spending $200 with you, I do like the Hourglass palette 
but you know, after last year's hourglass palette, I'm a, I might have I don't know, cause I was so disappointed. Remember, I had to send that back, right? I was like, right in that little bitty eye cream. Yes, child, that don't nobody want. Stop it. I'd be like, but it, but if I'm spending, and it, and y'all can look at my my. You should be able to look at somebody's order history and say, yeah, send them some samples. Because I consistently buy from you. As much money as I spend with that damn company this year alone, you should be giving me two or three good samples every rip. <gasps> Eighth grand. Congratulations, V. Yay. You better, you should, I'm saying, I should be getting, I should be getting like a Creed sample. You, oh, and Simply Bell. Yes, I forgot about that Simply Bell. I'm like, but you know what, Real honestly, with as often as they give you that shit, if you like it, you can have a full bottle by now. Pull that shit in a bottle, You, I'd probably have a full bottle of that bullshit. under eye concealer mm. i'm gonna do fall palettes i don't have any new new ones i have a few that you know are nice but i haven't been buying that many new fall palettes because quite honestly now i'm like no oh, okay i even know uh, miss thing over here and bought the glam palette by natasha denona like she needed it i'm not saying no names though coco But, but I do have some that are nice. It just depends. Uh, you need something, okay? And under eye concealer. I'm gonna tell you. Okay, here's my favorite under eye concealers. Here's them all. Um, <laughs> I have. I love. Um, okay, I love Milani's Conceal and Perfect. That's a really good one. I love um, the Dose of Colors. I just got that recently. That's an excellent one. I love the Too Faced one. I love that one. Those are my top three, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah those are my top three. But I really love the Milani ones. I'm, I'm trying to use up, um, well, she got that one. Heck, where's Danielle? Oh, because you bought it too, didn't you, Daddy? Okay, because you got that palette too. I know you did. Because I know you bought that palette too. Y'all, y'all, I know you do. I know you did. I know you went and got it too. So I, I understand you said, don't be coming for my cocoa because we just got it together. Right, the Too Faced Sculpted one, the big one. I love that one. That's so nice. It's such a good one. The Dose of Color one um, really surprised me because it's really... It does not crease. It's really good on not creasing. It's one of the best not non creasing ones. Um, who else has another a good one? Yeah, those are my. Uh, what brand? Um, I like indie brands a lot. So my favorites are Ace Beauté, Menagerie. Um, I like Kaleidos. I think I might order that one though. Um, uh, uh, I can do some Juvia's Place. I don't have any Huda. Oh yes, Helen, what price range? Because uh, Coco gonna just tell you gonna get Pat McGrath. I can just promise you she's gonna say Pat McGrath in 10 seconds. Pat McGrath, I said it for you. I said it. Okay, under 50. Okay, yeah. So, um, yeah. Da, da, da. I will go with, now, okay, now what colors are you looking for? That, okay, now that's the next thing. What colors are you looking for? Because, you know, then we can figure out what we should say. Is it, I, I never look at the Sigma palettes. Um, I've kind of gotten into some neutral palettes, not really, but mine, never mind. Uh, I got some though. 
Okay. Okay, the Visor edits are pretty. I have those. Okay, so let's think of some under $50 palettes. Let me think. All right. If you're looking for something vibrant, you want some vibrant colors, um, fall browns, nude orange, etc. Okay, if you want something with some vibrant colors, which Coco is still in the, um, this is the Ace Beauté Nostalgia Palette. So if you want something vibrant, this is a really pretty one for vibrance. I mean, damn, I ain't even swatched this one yet. The hell? Um, so, ooh, the Rich Nudes is nice. Um, so there's that. Uh, <laughs> now, I don't know if you can get them anytime soon, but... Um, Oh, you know what's on sale today? Um, the the um, Naked Honey is beautiful if you're looking for those kind of colors. Now, what is um, on sale today? And I think these are still around. Are these, these are the dose of colors. These are their matte ones. This is Blushing Berries. Um, these are 40% off. And if they have the vaults, get the vault because the vault's even better pricing and then it's 40% off. But these are, you can get this. They have Sassy Sienna's. Um, yeah, yeah. Naked Honey was just top notch. Um, these are always nice. The blushing, the uh, Delta Colors. These are the edits. These are the Visars edits, and they're just little, tiny little ones. They're just so cute. This is Rose Edit. I think they have a couple new ones out that I still need to get. This is Rose Edit right here. This is Warm Edit. What got all my stuff? This is Warm Edit. Oh, shit, I might have to go and go on there. Um, and then this is Dark Edit. And this is Dark Edit. Let me go look. Shit. Yes, Warm Edit is pretty. It's really pretty on. Love it, love it, love it. And I think it is a really good formula. The Visor, Visor um, formulation is really good. And I think they're on sale right now on Beautylish. So these are normally $39, but I think they're on sale on Beautylish, so go check them out right now. Uh, so that's, uh, that's off the top. That's off the top. Oh, you don't... Yeah, they did. They did. Okay. You know who Beautylish is? Oh, we about to take you to the dark side. Um, we about to take you over to the dark side. <laughs> Beautylish is a website. And it's got a lot of, you know, it has a lot of different, you know, companies. And they do payments. You know, you can split it up into three rights, right? Right. Right, Michelle, run, Helen, run. Um, it, it can, it, yeah, so that, that's, that's, that's beauty finish. Yeah. You know, you spend over $100, you can break it up into three payments. I want the Kaleidos ones though, but I'm scared to order because they're going to take forever. But I do want those. Those are gorgeous. Y'all know I like Kaleidos. Yeah, you're going to be in trouble. You are. It's just inevitable that you're going to get in trouble on that side. We all have it one point or another. Yeah. 
Yeah, 30 damn days. However, I don't think it might take this. Right? Yeah, it might, it's going to take a little bit to get to it. It's a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sunset palette is gorgeous. The Natasha Denona sunset. Yeah. That's a nice palette. That's a good one. That's a good one. There we go. Glad to help. I might do a little makeup this month. I need to work some, some. Let me go on over to those colors and see the, are those for me. Because let me tell you who irritated me. Juvie's Place, don't tell me you're 40% off everything and then tell me the lipsticks ain't on sale. Because I was about to snatch them all. I was about to be a Pokemon on that. Yeah. Damn it. Well, yeah, Kaleidos is now getting that hype. I mean, but they've been getting hype. They get hype every time they come out with a with a a, a, a collection. So we'll see. We will see. Um, I had a clean. You was pissed about what? Oh, you bought the 30 days, Kristen, about how long it takes to get them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it ain't going to be any time soon. You got to be really committed. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She really did because I was about to buy them all. You know I was going to get them all. I was going to get the whole thing. We was going to swatch every damn color. I was getting all of them. I was even so serious. I was because the I was like mad because all the browns weren't in. I'm like, that's okay. I'll wait for Black Friday because you're going to have to sell them then. You're going to have to sell them then. And that's when I will get them. Man. Play with me. Huh. Now, I will say the Wahala palette is nice, though. So, but it, you know. I must go on over the dose and see what they got over there for me. I'm trying to do good though. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. It's not going well though. Not at all. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let me get out of here. Um, let me order me, me some eye cream. So, okay, so we will start talking about. Uh, I don't want it, but see, those aren't my colors, Kristen, because. They kind of muddy on me, and they look, um, those, those are serious cool tones, and on me, they tend to muddy up, and I don't really like them. I mean, even though I made a really nice look with, what is that one that I have? The Sultry palette, um, but they just, they just, they don't do well on my skin. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So, I don't, nah, I'm a pass on, I'm, I'm a pass on that one. But like, but look, I got the damn nostalgia. I ain't even swatched it yet. Okay, Matt, if I get a few more things, we'll have a swatch party. Um, let me check Coco. I will check my email because I do have. I know they forty percent off, so it must be a cold. It might be Labor Day or something. Let me check my emails and get back to you on that one. Um, let me let you know because I know it's forty percent off. Yeah, so we're going to do some makeup. We'll do makeup and stuff. We'll have makeup nights, too. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to balance out everything. Not all perfume. We'll do makeup nights, too. Um, talk about fall makeup and everything. And maybe I'll start putting on makeup again. My Y'all don't know. My eyes was giving me some problems. I think I was getting a couple. Every, let me just be honest. It's like whenever you feel any type of sickness, you immediately go into rona mode. Or is it just me? I know, I know we're all doing this. So I was feeling a little, like my eyes were burnt, not burning, but they were runny. And my, you know, um, and so I was like, and I was starting to feel like cough a little bit. Like I woke up one night coughing. So I immediately went into Rona mode. I jumped up out of my bed. I ran and started taking my, my zinc, my Zycams. And I'm taking echinacea. Um, you know, um, I'm t doing this. I'm doing that because I'm so afraid. You know, I'm out. You know, we automatically go into it. So yeah, I don't want no beaver. But I got Safari, and I rarely use Safari. 
Cause Safari and Biba are kind of similar. Me, right? I've been on my black elderberry. You know, my vitamin C. I'm taking all my immune boosters. So don't forget get your immune boosters up. Cause when I get paid again, baby, right? That's what I'm saying. It's like you feel a little sick. You like, look, I'm telling y'all, I live with this little thermometer. I love this thing. I be like. Every day, I'm checking my temperature. Every day, I'm checking it. Like, okay, let me see. Okay, I'm okay. I'm in 97.1. I'm usually between there and 1 point and 0.5. So I feel like, okay, I'm doing okay. Yes, yes, I'm okay. This world, you know, and that's why I don't quite understand the people who are like just willy nilly out in these streets because. I'm just so paranoid. I'm 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 living my life a little bit, but I'm still a little paranoid. You know, I'm living, but I'm still pretty much paranoid. Right? Exactly. So it's like I'm, I'm living, but I'm still not. You know. And so when I'm seeing people just like, cause I'm telling you, baby, I know that's right. Um, I'm telling you, like. When B's friend was talking about, I'm going to Houston, I'm going to this large ray party, I'm going to this pool party. And all I was thinking, you better keep your infested ass away from my, my household for at least, and not two weeks. I, I'm going to need, this, this going to be months, and I need to keep up with your itineraries. Because if I see your ass, I, if, if B see you, been, I know you can't come back. I'm like, you going to Houston to a lingerie and a pool party. To Houston. Okay. Right. Yeah. See that exactly. I got you, Helen. But but it's just like we. And I know these people are like, oh, it's okay. So, but I'm just on the. I'm gonna stay right over here, just checking my temperature and stuff. How about that? That's what I'm gonna do. You know. So look, I check my temperature all the time. I'll be like, I get up. Let me see my temperature, and. I, you know, and I guess, you know, that's the world we live in now. That's part of our new normal. And I, I'm, I'm working my way into being part of my new normal. It's like every day, check temperature. Yeah. And we have to because so many people aren't. They just aren't. So, it's like one of those things. But, you know, hey, I'm getting, you know, and, and I'm... Right. Listen, but every time I go to the store, I pick up some more bleach. I think I got to get bleach and toilet paper because I like, because everybody, like, I need lights. Like, so, okay, bleach work just the same. I'm just going to bleach some shit. It's going to be a little different color. That's all. It's going to be just a little different color. That's all. What? See, hell no. And I get it because it, the economy is suffering. Um, you know, the hospitality side is just really suffering. But I think, you know, we just really have to think about different ways to people. You know, there's going to have to be new ways to entertain and, 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 and hire people in different things. But yeah, the club, oh, hell no. But I'm telling you, she was going at her parties to like big parties. She's like, you know, me and my girls, we roll like 20 deep or some shit like that. And I was like, okay. 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 I'm going to pass on all of that. I'm going to pass on all of that. And I'm gonna give you the side eye, like stay your little infection, infect you know, typhoid Mary ass away from here. Your your Corona Carol ass away from here. That's what we gonna Corona Carol ass away from here. Stay away, Corona Carol. Right. Right. Yeah, them disinfectant sprays are ridiculous. I'm just bleach. And even bleach is overpriced now. I was looking, I was like, when did bleach get to be $5 a bottle? I'm like, are they serious? 
Because I got to check and make sure I got enough bleach. I'm like, because I live by the Fabuloso and bleach. Okay. All right, y'all. Let me get off here because I have lots of work to do tomorrow. I will be in work mode after I take a nice, soothing, relaxing bath. I'm going to take a nice bath tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're going to call them, Corona Carol. So you all have a good night. Yep, prep on my holiday off. Yep. But I'm going to take a nice soothing bath tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night. <laughs>